G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back with another Dragon's Dogma guide. And this time I'm going to be showing you how to get some really powerful enchanted weapons pretty much right near the start of the game. I think this only takes about within like 20 minutes of starting the game, you can pretty much get these weapons, so uh, really quite powerful. So in order to be able to reach the spot to get these weapons, you're going to have to have cleared up to where the encampment is. You'll get into a fight with a big ass cyclops. All you have to do is take him down. And once you've taken him down, you can head down the Manamia Trail. Now this trail should be a little bit north uh, northwest of the encampment. It should be pretty easy to spot. You'll actually get something in your map saying uh, Manamia Trail. And what you're going to have to do is power down here Pretty much ignore all the enemies. If you feel like fighting your way down there, then uh, you can. But I would recommend just powering past all the enemies, especially if they're doing this early. You're uh, not really going to get in, going to want to get in the fight with uh, all the enemies you come across. Anyway, head down the trail and head all the way down the coast until you get to this point, which is the tomb of the unknown traveler. Now here, be very careful because there is actually a golem sleeping on the left. You can see him just there on the uh, the left of the screen. He's kind of huddled up. I think if you get too close to him or if you maybe provoke him, you'll have to get into a fight with him. And I would not recommend that because he will most likely uh, smash your face in. Just skirt around him and come to this point where you see a, a sword in the stone. I guess it's like a, uh, a King Arthur reference or something. And before you get up there and loot that sword, what we're going to do is save the game. Now, it's very important that you save it before you do this because the, the loot point here only has a random chance to spawn one of these weapons. It will always give you a weapon, but uh, not always the one you want. So make sure you save your game, and once you've done that, all you have to do is climb up and loot that pile. Now, there is a chance you'll get one of four different weapons. The weapons here are the Eden's Warden, which is a one-handed sword with a fire enchant. It has a really good mix of physical and magical attack, so uh, really quite good at this point in the game. There's also a set of Scalding Razors, which is a pair of daggers for the Strider class. Again, that is enchanted with the fire enchant, and yeah, a really, really good set of daggers. There's also the Thunderclap, which is a mage weapon or a mage staff. I personally could not get this one to spawn or I could not loot it. I, I don't know if it has a very, very rare chance to drop or it's not in here anymore, but I tried this maybe 20 plus times and I could not get the Thunderclap. I hope you mages have a better chance than I do, but yeah, I can't really show you the stats for it because I've never obtained it myself. But by far the most frequent one you will see is the Steel Greatsword. Now, this is a two-handed weapon for the Warrior class, so I doubt you'll be able to use it at this point in the story, but it may be a good thing to hang on to. But definitely out of my... I probably got about... Uh, I would say 50%, maybe 75% of my loots was actually the Steel Greatsword, which is uh, quite a shame. So if you find you do get a piece of loot that you don't want, uh, say you're a mage and you get the sword and you don't want it or you can't use it, then all you have to do is exit out of your game or go to your menu and go back, return to title without saving. Do not save your game, just go back to the main menu and then reload that save that you just made. You'll find that you're straight in front of that pile again and all you have to do is climb up and loot it again. Every time you do loot it, it will give you a random piece of gear. Now, I have confirmed that the other three weapons drop here, but I cannot confirm that mage stuff. So again, I, I wish you guys luck on that one. So I do know that this pile does respawn. I don't know what time frame it takes though. So if you loot the item and you think, oh, I want another one of those or a different item from it, you're gonna have to go away and sleep at a camp or an inn for a set number of nights, but I'm really not sure how many nights at the moment. If someone does know the number, then if you could leave that in the comment section below, I'd really appreciate it. So that about covers that guide. I hope it was a quick and easy one and it should give you quite a good boost at the start of the game. As long as you wear it with the DLC armor, now you've got a good weapon, so you should be pretty good to get into the story. Anyway, if this guide did help you, then please leave a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or suggestions, then leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Moo.